Dear student, welcome to our lesson today in communication skills. Chapter 1. Communication process. 1.2. Communication channels. Learning objectives. By the end of this lesson, you should be able to Describe the various channels of communication used in the office. Give example of visual channels of communications. Give example of nonverbal channels of communication. Businesses use a variety of methods to communicate information. For example, communication might be face to face or written. Information can be sent by email or by postal system. Look at the example below and suggest suitable methods of communication for each of the following cases. Case 1. A business want to inform customer that an order will be delayed because an item is out of stock. Case 2. An employee has to be informed that they have been promoted to a senior position and will be entitled to a higher pay. Case 3. A worker needs a permission from a supervisor to finish work 15 minutes early to take his daughter for a hospital appointment. Communication Channels When you're deciding which of the communication channels would be best for your message, you should take into consideration Will it meet the business objectives? Who is the target receiver? How much it will cost? How quickly does a message need to be transmitted? Does a record need to be kept? communications channels. A message may be sent in one or more of the following ways as shown in the figure. Oral communication, the use of spoken words in conversation, giving instructions, meetings, radio and telephone. Written communication, the use of written words in letters, emails, memos, faxes, reports, and agenda, minutes of the meeting, etc. Visual communications, the use of poster, films, videos, charts, graphics, and advertisements. Nonverbal communications, the use of personal sense as nodding, facial expression, and gestures. Social media has become the primary channel for a business to communicate with the consumers. Popular internet sites are used by businesses, include Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, and LinkedIn. This method allows fast mass communications, can target specific consumers, and allows a business to interact with its consumers. Not all potential consumers use social media, and some people are concerned about the data that may be collected by the businesses who communicate in this way. Evaluation activity. Write in your notebook a list of communication channels. You will have two minutes to answer this activity.
Well done. Let's check the answer. Visual communication. Visual communication is the conveyance of ideas and information in forms that can be read or looked upon. Any image that is used to communicate an idea, whether it is a sign, poster, drawing, photograph, chart, diagram, table, or television advertisement, can be included in the field of visual communications. Evaluation activity. You have two minutes to answer this activity. Give examples of visual communications. Well done. Let's check the answer. Chart Diagram Drawing Image Poster Photograph Film Sign Nonverbal communication is a process of communication through sending and receiving wordless messages, gesture touch, and eye contact or lack of eye contact are some aspects of nonverbal communication that can be very significantly depending on personal cultural background. Nonverbal communication. Number one, tone and voice. Speaking up and changing the tone of your voices make you appear engaging. Number two, body language. The way a person sits, stands, or moves communicate a nonverbal message. Number three, appearance. People are judged from their appearance, such as clothing, Uniforms, occupational dress, and color. Number four, eye contact. The way you look at someone can communicate many things, including interest, affection, hostility, or attraction. Number five, time. 
Punctuality relays a nonverbal message. A person who is perceived as being well organized. Number six, facial expressions. Facial expressions such as happiness, surprise, fear, sadness, anger, disgust, contempt. Seven, gestures. Common gestures include waving, pointing, and using fingers to indicate numeric amounts. Evaluation activity. Answer activity 1.2.2, page 24 in the textbook. What does the man's gesture in photograph A mean? Describe the body language of the two women in photograph B. What is going on between them? In photograph B, what does the man's posture show about his feelings? In photograph C, what is the man's attitude towards what he is hearing? Give one example from your own life of how someone's body language has shown his or her feelings. Why is it important for managers to be aware of body language? You have two minutes. Start. Well done. Let's check the answer. You will have one minute to solve this question. Place a tick in the below box where you think best describes each of the following communication channels. Communication channel Written, Oral, Visual, Nonverbal The situation Sending a letter to place an order Annual meeting of shareholders No smoking sign job interview good employee appearance you will have one minute
Well done. Let's check the answer. Sending a letter to a place and order is a written communication channel. Annual meeting of shareholders is oral communication channel. No smoking sign. It is visual communication channel. Job interview is oral communication channel. Good employee appearance. It is nonverbal communication channel. Question 2. Write the name of the method of communication for each of the following pictures and classify into verbal, written, visual, or nonverbal communication. You will have one minute. Well done. Let's check the answer. Question 3. Nonverbal communication messages such as eye contact, nodding, smiling, are related to behavior. True or false? You will have 30 seconds. Well done. Let's check the answer. The answer is true. Question 4. Any image that is used to communicate an idea is known as nonverbal communication. Well done. Let's check the answer. The answer is false because any image that is used to communicate an idea is known as visual communication. Question 5. Which of the following is the most indirect communication channel a written b oral c visual d nonverbal you will have 30 seconds
Well done. Let's check the answer. The most indirect communication channel is nonverbal. Question 6. Abdullah is making a class presentation. He is very uncomfortable and begins to sweat, rock back and forth, and wring his hands. These actions are example of A. Written B. Oral C. Visual D. Nonverbal Well done. Let's check the answer. Additional activity. Go over your workbook, page 12 to 16, and solve all questions. End of the lesson. Thank you.